Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Eben Vischer, and we are here in historic and beautiful Folsom, California. And in our uh, worldwide studio tonight, we have a worldwide audience watching our two sister missionaries from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. They have agreed to come and be interviewed tonight. And on your left is Sister Powell, and we're glad to have you here, Sister Powell. And on your right is Sister Davies. Thank you for coming. And I thought I would show you the venue here. This is a gorgeous area we're in, uh, surrounded by lush trees and beautiful growth and foliage. Californians think of this as lush because they don't have any rain in California. So all of this is uh, stuff that uh, can survive with almost no water at all. So we're going to start our interview with Sister uh, Powell. So. Again, Sister Powell, thank you so much for coming and being thank with you. us. And I, my first question is, are there some challenges or obstacles you've met where the way you overcame them might benefit our listeners? Um, well, certainly um, coming on a mission wasn't uh, the easiest decision for me to make. Um, and... Um, for me, a, a big challenge right from the very beginning is um, learning how to help people who may be struggling with their own challenges. Um, to be that kind of that that guide, uh, almost, or just that friend, to help someone who's, who's struggling with something that you you personally cannot uh, change, you cannot fix. And um, for me. Um, that obstacle with, with companions or with, with um, people I've taught has been to just uh, to just show love um, and to choose to show love because I, I definitely believe that that love is a choice and I have learned a lot about myself in that watching other people go through their struggles and um, and just learning from them and then you know being able to apply in a little bit their what they've grown out of their experiences to myself Great. thank you very much what new food place or thing or activity have you learned to like for the first time in your life here um well I had just uh, this last week, I had kimchi for the first time and Korean food, and that was really good. So that was neat. Um, I also really like salsa now, and before my mission, I never liked Mexican food or, or liked salsa, and here we eat it all the time <laughs> when, we go, when we live with me go and eat with members. So I get to eat it a lot, and I've just really learned to love it. Hmm. What's your favorite part of missionary life besides sharing the gospel? Besides sharing the gospel, I think my favorite part is just getting to know people, um, learning their stories. And I guess it's kind of like sharing the gospel, but it's just kind of fun to hear like how people met their spouses or their life stories. And um, I love going into like rest homes or, or places and just chatting with some little old lady about her life and what it was like in the 1950s and just learn from her example to me and just kind of collect those the stories of, of people in their lives and the you know decisions they've made choices they've they've had and uh, it's it's been really cool just to make those friends what can you tell us of your testimony of the sacred book the Book of Mormon um, my, my testimony of the Book of Mormon has definitely grown on my mission. I, before my mission, I knew it was true. I knew that it came from God. Um, but as a missionary, I definitely understand much better why we needed that book today. Um, when I've seen people start to read it, oftentimes they have challenges in their lives 
or they don't feel really good about themselves or they don't really feel good about God or they have questions they don't know how to find answers to and the Book of Mormon has been has has worked miracles um, in a way I, I almost didn't expect um, and I, I definitely have come to know that anybody who reads that book and prayerfully will find guidance in their life and um, I guess it doesn't really change their lives you know reading a book doesn't change your life but it changes what you want and it starts to change um, who you are and then you find through the spirit the motivation and the courage and the strength to change your own life and that's almost more empower empowering than a miracle is because it allows people to change something in their own life and I think that is what the big um, the power of the Book of Mormon. Hmm. How do you feel about your Savior, Jesus Christ? Uh, I love him. <laughs> um, um, it's definitely a, a hard task to to represent the creator of the world <laughs> um, when I'm just myself. But I have definitely learned as a missionary to really, I guess, grasp even in just a little way what the notion of repentance is and, and what my Savior did for me. And I know that He loves everybody. I know that He loves me. I know that He knows about, He knows me better than anybody else. I, I know that I can always talk to him. Um, I know that he died for me. I know that he lives, that he loves me, that he um, he's the best part. He's the best part of, of my life. Thank you so much for sharing that heartfelt testimony. There may be many people watching this interview from all parts of the world, young and old, men and women, children, and I wonder if there are other aspects of your testimony that you would like to share with our viewers. Hmm. Well, I, I guess one part of, of my testimony that, that I would like to share that's grown is, um, is that God did not send us to this earth to fail and I've seen people who maybe the world would call failures rise up and achieve really wonderful things and I know that no matter how you or I feel about ourselves God loves us so much and there's always a way to improve. Change is a be has become a beautiful word for me. Um, change in that we that we make ourselves is so powerful and change that the Lord helps us make is even stronger. And I have a testimony of change. I have a a testimony that change is why we came to this earth and it is how we progress is by changing ourselves and I've definitely gained a love for that concept. Thank you so much for your strong testimony of why Heavenly Father has sent us to the earth. We really appreciate your taking time out of your busy schedule to come share with our audience tonight. Thank you. Is there any other thought that has come to your mind that you would like to share on any subject um, while we've been talking, perhaps? Not really. Okay. Well, <laughs> I love being in California. I love being a missionary. I'm so glad I came here. We are, too. We're the lucky people who get to have you and your sweet spirit here with us. Thank you so much. Thank you. And good night to our worldwide audience.